Hi, it's James Beardwell, the Whitton Town supporter here, and welcome back to another Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Whitton Town are at home to our local neighbours, Habeas Swifts, in the Isthmian League North Division. I am buzzing for the huge game against Habeas Swifts in the local derby. We're buzzing for tonight's game, and it's going to be a huge game for both sets of teams. And me and my mates, the fellow Whitton Town supporters, we're feeling the buzz tonight. We've got our singing voices all ready to get behind the Whitton Town players and the staff, and the Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball, especially. And I'm excited for the huge local derby against Habeas Swifts. And the last time we played Haber Swifts was earlier on in September, away to Haber Swifts in the local derby and won one nil at their place. And that was a fantastic victory for Whitton Town that day. But tonight's game will be a different story because it will be huge for both sets of teams. And I reckon the atmosphere around the ground is going to be electric around the ground with both sets of fans especially for our Whitton Town supporters. We're going to create a huge atmosphere, the home atmosphere around the ground. But it'll be a great night for both sets of fans, like, but hopefully it'll be a victory for Whitton Town <laughs> and hopefully get the double over Haber Swifts tonight. <laughs> but well, yeah, I just have to wait and see about tonight's game. We've got to wait and see how it will pan out tonight. But I reckon it's going to be a very close game because local derbies can be a really tight game. But who knows? We've just got to wait and see about tonight's game. But we'll hopefully return to winning ways after that 3-1 defeat away to Lower Stoff Town. But despite we lost 3-1, we really enjoyed a fantastic night on our coach journey to the Whitton Town away match to Lower Stoff Town. In the 3-1 defeat, but despite we lost the 3-1 defeat to Lower Stoff Town, we really enjoyed the night, that night on Tuesday earlier. But we're going to focus on tonight's big local derby against our local neighbours, Haber Swifts. And like I said, we hope to get the double over Haber Swifts by getting the win tonight. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're buzzing for tonight. We're really excited. And... And we're going to create a huge atmosphere for our home support for Whitton Town as well, especially. But I reckon for both sets of fans, the atmosphere is going to be absolutely electric around the ground tonight. And I'm really confident that Whitton Town will do the double over Haber Swiss tonight and get back to winning ways. Because sometimes, like the Isthmian League North Division is really tough this season... But I know we did really well in the Isthmian League North Division this season so far. But this tonight will be huge tonight. But we're really excited for tonight in the local derby. And now I'm about to run away to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against our local neighbours, Haber Swifts, in a local derby very shortly. I'm currently now arrived at the Batsford Court Weatherspoons for a Whitton Town pre-match meal and I've got pasta Alfredo with chicken and to fill my boots are ready for the Whitton Town home support against our local neighbours Haber Swifts in the Isthmian League North Division later on tonight and now I'm going to enjoy my pre-match meal. I'm currently now arrived at the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the big local derby against our local neighbours, Haby Swifts, in the Isthmian League North Division. I'm feeling the buzz, and so is my mates and fellow Whitton Town supporters, or the main Whitton Town supporters. We're feeling the buzz for tonight's game. It's massive for both teams because local derbies ain't very easy, but I'm confident that Whitton Town will do the double over Haby Swifts by getting a win like we did away at Haber Swiss when we won one nil at their place. But sometimes like, you're bound to be confident as a Whitton Town fan every single match days, but I do sometimes 
understand that other Whitton Towns fans have made an opinions about realistically with the um, match, but but they're entitled to their opinion. But tonight's game is huge against our local neighbours, Haybury Swifts, and, and I think both sets of fans will be cheering for their teams and it's going to be like huge, especially for our team, Whitton Town, and um, it's going to be massive. And I'm now just waiting for my mates of fellow Whitton Town supporters to do a quick interview on the pre-match thoughts, half-time thoughts and full-time thoughts as always. We're excited for tonight and it's going to be a, a massive game because local derbies is going to be huge. But I am confident that Whitton Town will get back to winning ways and do the double over Haber Swiss by getting the win tonight. Sorry, sorry. I'm now with the fellow Whitton Town supporter, Leon. Hi, James. Good, thank you. It's a massive game for Whitton Town against our local neighbours, Haber Swifts in the Isthmian League North Division tonight. And I'm confident we're going to do the double over Haber Swifts and like, because we won one nil away at Haber Swifts earlier on this season, but we're confident we're going to get the, to do the double over Haber Swifts tonight. But it is huge as a local derby, but I hope we get the win as long as the Whitton Town players turn up a thousand percent. Yeah, hopefully we do get the win um, tonight. Um, when we played Haber Swifts away from home, we beat them one nil. If we beat if we beat Haybridge Swifts away, we should easily beat them at home. Mm. Yeah, because like it'll be a different story tonight because it's going to be a big, massive game for both teams because it's a local derby and both sets of fans like us and them as well. It's going to be an atmosphere around the ground, I reckon. But but I'm really confident we can we can beat Haber Swifts tonight and do the double over Haber Swifts tonight. But I believe we can do it. And like I said, as long as the players turn up a thousand percent and we've got to get behind our manager, Gary Kimball, as always, because like Gary said time and time again this season, he loves our club to bits and especially for our supporters. And we've got to get behind him. Yeah, I saw the score prediction um, Tuesday night when we were away to love stuff. Um, what we need to do is get that score out the way, mm. chuck it down the drain, focus on this game, hopefully get the three points at home against Haybridge Swifts, mm. make this day lovely. Yeah, hopefully we get a victory tonight for us and hopefully get all three points for us after that 3-1 defeat away at Lowestoft Town. But we wasn't too disheartened with that result away at Lowestoft Town because they knew... We knew that they're going to be top of the league this season because, like, they are ahead of a side, Lowestoft Town, because, like, played some really good football on the pitch. And um, we knew how tough it is, but tonight's game is a really special match of a local derby. It's a huge game for both teams, but we're going to focus on tonight's game and, and like we said, hopefully turn up with all three points. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Leon? I'm going to have to go 4 1 Whitton Town. Wow! <laughs> really optimism. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be really optimistic as well. I'm, I'm buzzing for tonight and I'm excited for the big local derby against Haber Swifts. I know we beat them away 1 0 in September. I know we beat them 1 0 earlier on in the season in September and but it'll be a different story tonight as long as we turn up I'm going 2-1 Whitton Town thank you so much for your time Leon and let's hope we get all three points and up the town up, up the, the town. town come on I'm now with the main fellow Whitton Town supporters Rick and Laura hi James hi James, hi, James. Good, thank you. This is a massive local derby against our local neighbours, Haber Swifts, tonight. And we're confident to get all three points tonight because local derbies is meant to all fans, especially for us. Yeah. And, like, we want to beat Haber Swifts tonight, but as long as the players of Whitton Town must turn up tonight after that 3-1 defeat away at Lowestoft Town. But we wasn't too disheartened with that defeat, but we're going to focus on tonight's game which is the most important one against our local rivals, Haby Swifts. But don't forget, right, lowest off the top of the league. 
they haven't, they've only lost tw three times, haven't they? Mm. If we play like we did against them first time, there's no reason why we can't beat them tonight. They might you know, be third you know, in the league, but, but you know what? That doesn't mean a thing, does it? No, it doesn't. Especially on no. form, guys. You know, don't forget they're Home not crowd they're behind them. Exactly, tonight. get a crowd behind 1%. them. 1%. Exactly, you know. And if yeah. we played like we did against Bowers and Pitsy, then, you know, second half, we were brilliant, yeah. weren't we? Second half. We just couldn't get that. We just couldn't get the goal. Couldn't get the goal. Didn't, couldn't the but end. didn't you think that they were a boring team? They were they're my, one of the most boring teams I've watched. But you know what we used to say? Kick and hoof. That's all they were doing, weren't they? Yeah. They were. Straight out of the goalkeeper's hands, straight down the middle, and that's all they did. They didn't do nothing else. No, I'm looking for, looking for a win Should tonight. Should be a good game tonight. I'm looking for a <clears> win. <throat> I, I, you know, I think we can beat them. We were at home. We've got the home advantage. Mm. Oh, I don't like Cambridge, I'm sorry. <laughs> it might be just down the road, but it is like a, this is like a big derby, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? 100%. This is like a North London derby, Tottenham Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so you yeah, say we've got the home enough. home crowd tonight. I think there's going to be a good crowd here tonight. There's going to be a lot from Haybridge, there's no doubt about it. Um, but yeah, I think I think we can do this tonight. I really do think we can turn up and play football tonight and we can get the result. Don't you so, think... Going back to the Bowers and Pitsy game, right? there was no atmosphere at the ground at all, was there? Definitely not, it, no. It was, it was, it was only us. It was, <laughs> exactly. It was only, only us sweeping town. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They, but they were the only cheered when they scored. You didn't hear them singing or nothing or anything like that, And we cheered all the night, 90 minutes. Like yourself we? and your other friends, you all sing and whatever. There was nothing like that, was there? And I thought it was quite, you know... I agree 100%. It I'm was, looking forward was, to playing them again. Where I, yeah, exactly. Here, that would be a good game. Yeah. But, you know, we've got to think about they're, tonight. They're one of the most boring sides we've played. And they were. And that's all they kept doing. Just kicking, hoof, kicking. They never played hard any football. And every time we got, like, Laura probably telling you that, this, that, every time we got the ball, that was a foul against them. You know? Yeah. We like, didn't have the referee in our no, favour. We didn't. But, we didn't. You know, we've got to talk about tonight. Yeah. It's, that's the most important thing. And I, and I can't wait. I really can't yeah, wait. Yeah, same. I really can't wait for this big, big local derby. And the Whitton Town win will mean for us all, yeah. especially yeah. to local derby, yeah. because we yeah. want. We want to win against our local neighbours, Haven Swiss. Because uh, when we, we are good, when we're good, we can beat anybody, exactly. mm. including Lowestoft. We can beat them because we have showed that we can beat and we can win and we can score goals and we can play well. You know, sometimes we haven't played the whole ninety minutes well, but we've come out in the second half and we played we our turn, little soft turn soft. around. Exactly. So I do think we can beat anybody on the right on the right pitch on the right circumstances. We can do it. And I, and I think it's going to be tonight. But we've got to go with the right attitudes. No silly goals, no silly penalties. No penalties. The last two games at home, we've had silly goals and silly penalties. We don't need that. Let's, Definitely let's, not, let's no. Try and, no. Let's try and cut them out and then let's just play football, football like Laura just said. We can beat anyone on our day. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, to remember, James, they're just a little bus stop in Malden. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, sometimes it is frustrating to concede penalties every single exactly, game, like yeah, Barry Town yeah. and um, yeah. and other games, yeah. like etc. Like the lower stuffed one as well. But that was a brilliant save from from Harry McKee. Yes, he yes. Saved a couple, that's though, brilliant. That is. Well, it's two he saved now, isn't yeah, it? It's two now. Yeah. So that's only confidence for him as well, isn't it? Massive so. confidence for Harry McKee because he it was brilliant since he came in goal mm. and like. He commands the team mm. and like, um, but for captain wise, because I, I think Liam's captain mm. now. I think mm. because yeah, like yeah. since since um, we've lost Gaz since Gaz yeah. left the club yeah. because he was our captain that yeah. that matches until he left the club and then and I think Liam is the captain mm. for the club now. So and I think like we said Rick on off camera that being a captain that. We've got to command. Exactly, you've got to be there and talk. You've got to talk to your players and be. You're you're the you're the, the engine. You're the, you're the boss. You're the boss on the pitch. Not nothing to do with Gary Kimball. He's the boss in the changing room and tells him how to play. Mm. He's got to be the boss on the field. He's the man in charge. Like your your boss at work. He's got to be in charge of them eleven players on the pitch and say, "Come on, lads, let's go. Come on, mm. you know, gee him up, gee him up, and talk to him. Talk to him. You don't hear no talking like that. Come on, you know, you've got to get him going." Exactly, because yeah, because all club captains like you've got to command the players mm. and do what we've been asked to do by the management staff and exactly. the club captain and like because if you want to win matches like lots of matches we've got yeah, to really. I, I think not being funny though, James. Things haven't gone our way. Mm. Like I, I spoke to Mr. Chairman today. Mm. Yeah, that goalkeeper had been sent off. They had a 16-year-old goalkeeper on the bench at Lowestoft. 
Tuesday night, right? So if their goalkeeper had been sent off, their 16-year-old keeper would have been on the pitch, right? That could have changed the game completely. Mm. Um, do you know what I mean? We had really bad refereeing uh, when we was at Bowers and Pitsy. That referee was awful. Oh. Didn't mm. go against us. We've had some shocking times here. Yeah. They've probably gone against. The, they've gone against us, haven't they? So we just, you know, we've just got a. We can't control that, can we? Mm. But you know, we, we are just. We are such a good team. We really are. We've got mm. a young squad of players out there. And like Rick said, you know, we've got Liam as our captain. You've got to. You've got, and he's got to be the engine, got, engine have, drive. He is, he is the engine. You've got to be. So, got, you know. But, yeah. So. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score <laughs> prediction, Rick? I'm going 2-1 tonight for a win. <laughs> and what's your score prediction, Laura? I'm going for 3-1 with them. Wow, brilliant. <laughs> Optimistic. Brilliant. <Very. laughs> <laughs> what about you, James? I'm going to be really optimistic too because it's a local derby and, and we want to really win against um, our local neighbours. Hello, Mr. Chairman! Hi, Mark. Hi, Mr. Chairman! <laughs> But yeah, um, he's, he's a fantastic chairman to our club. He is a fantastic and chairman. He cares and he's got passion for this club. Yeah, he, he really has. He has a lot of passion yeah. for the club as yeah. chairman. And yeah. since I did my previous interview with Mark after yeah. the Felix Stowe one, Very passionate he, interview. his speech is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Because it, it, cause like we said earlier, Laura, we was yeah. we was choked and emotional yeah. when, um, yeah. when he made an amazing yeah. speech yeah, on did. camera he about... Did. Like thank you to the supporters yeah. and, and you don't credit see to the Mr. Staff. Chairman on camera very often. No, do you don't. He? He, he's always normally behind the scenes, and he's honest as well. Yeah, too right. Yeah, but he's what makes this a club, isn't he? So, you know. But there you go. One hundred percent. Yeah, and I'm gonna go for. Sorry, James, I interrupted you, didn't I? No, that's all right. Um, no, <laughs> that's hang on, about, hang yeah. on, James. What's your score prediction? I'm going to be really optimistic because it's a local derby. I'm going 2 1 with some town. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, Thank it. you guys so Cheers, much for your James. time and up the town. Up the town. Up the town. Oh, come, on. Come, on. come on. I'm now with the Haybridge Swift supporter and committee, Chris Danes. Hi, James. How are you, mate? Good, thank you. It was a big game for both sets of teams and supporters as well. and against the local neighbours Haybridge and it's only six miles away and um, it'll be a massive game and I think the atmosphere around the ground will be like electric for both fans and I reckon it's going to be a lot of fans tonight. Yeah, I hope so James, I think uh, Whitton getting a game on a Friday is a good initiative, hopefully they'll be rewarded by lots of other fans coming from you know around to, to watch the game but yeah Haybridge and Whitton it's going to be a, a cracking game. We're after a bit of revenge, obviously, after you've beaten us at Haybridge, <laughs> but, uh, but um, yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, we've just got to wait and see tonight because um, because it's a big, big game for both teams and especially for Whitton Town and um, and I think it's going to be an amazing game, but um, it should be amazing. Yeah, it's going to be tough for us tonight. We're, we're missing a few tonight. We're missing our captain through illness and we've got a couple of other players out injured. Um, a goal has just come back for his first game in 105 days, so um, you know lots to, lots of change in the side. But um, you know local derby goes out the window anyway, doesn't it? It's going to be a tough game. We need to keep uh, keep control of Joss Asude up front. He's lightning, isn't he? And uh, we can't let Liam Whips have any free kicks on the edge of the box. Um, so uh, yeah, tough, tough game. I mean, I, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it, but I'm you know I'm not overconfident. Yeah, same. I'm not overconfident as well because it's huge for both teams. But I'm confident for tonight, but not overconfident because it's huge for both teams. And um, but it should be amazing atmosphere around the ground and like, and it should be a great evening. And and it should be amazing. Hopefully. Yeah. So we're going to go with some score predictions. I'm going. We go for the score prediction. As a Whitton Town fan, I'm going. 2-1 with some Tanner, what's your prediction? Um, I'm, I'm going to go with my head and my heart. My my heart would be a big big Haybridge win, 3-1 perhaps, but to be honest, I'll take an ugly 1-0 win. Clean sheet and three points, that'll do me. So, fingers crossed, but um, we'll see what happens. Best of luck, mate. Excellent, thank you so much for your time. Cheers, mate, good to see you again. And hangs and enjoy the game. Okay, thanks, mate. Thanks. Bye. 
I'm now with the another fellow Whitton Town supporter, Matthew. Hello, James. Good, thank you. It's a huge game in a local derby against our local neighbours, Aber Swiss. We're yeah, there, yeah. six miles away. Local derby, we love them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's good to have a local derby, and and I reckon it's gonna be a decent crowd tonight because like it's gonna be like a atmosphere around the ground. Car park's full. There's a lot of people outside, so yeah, hopefully a big crowd. Mm. That's what we want. Definitely, yeah, and like, because uh, like we're hoping to get back to winning ways after that three-one defeat away at Lowestoft Town. And Always going to be a tough game. It'll be really Always. tough. And this is going to be a tough game, but if we play like we played at their place earlier on in the season, no problem at all. Mm. We was outstanding that game. Yeah, we was really outstanding away at Haber Swifts, and we. Defended really well, and like, because like before the final whistle, when we won the up, and like our heart was raising because they because like sometimes when you're one nil up, sometimes obsessions don't give up. Squeaky and, bum time, exactly. It. Yeah, because like being one nil up or two one up, and um, because sometimes like obsessions never give up, and sometimes. It is dangerous, like winning one nil, two one, because sometimes it happens in football when they grab late equalisers. It happens a lot, yeah. So we need to get that killer goal. That's what we need. Definitely, yeah, because like we need like like two more goals to, like you said, kill the game off. And um, but we managed to stand firm and hold on to the one nil win. But hopefully we we'll do the same tonight. But hopefully we've got to really turn up tonight, a thousand percent from the players, if, if we want to get all three points tonight. Friday night under the lights, let's have them. Mm. We can do it. Start climbing that league. Definitely 100%. And now we're coming to the score prediction. What's the score prediction, Matthew? 2 1 us. Be a tight game, but 2 1 us. I'm going to go for the same because it's going to be a really tight game in a local derby. I'll probably go the same like you want, like your 1 2 1 Whitton Town. Absolutely. Up the town. Thank you so much for your time. No up, up the town. Up the town. Up the town. Come on. I'm now with the another fellow Whitton Town supporters, Toby, and Teddy. Teddy and Ben. Right. Guys, this is a massive game against our local neighbours, Haber Swifts, and like we want to get all three points tonight because local derbies are meant meant to be for us, and it means a lot to us fans that get all three points. And as long as the Whitton Town players turn up and put a thousand percent in. Yeah. Like like what we say, like we just need to build the momentum, keep going. Mm. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And we'll get better and better as as we go. As long as we get as long as we put in a hundred more than a hundred and ten percent, then we'll win the game easily. Mm. And now we're coming to the score prediction. What's your score prediction? Six one Whitton. Wow, <laughs> optimistic. It's love yeah. to see. And um, what's your score prediction, Teddy? I say 3 0 win. Brilliant. I say I, I'm going to go for a big one. I'm going to go 4 0 with the. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's brilliant optimism. That, that's what we love to hear. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to be really optimistic as well. And it's going to be a tight local derby. And I'm going 2 1 Whitton Town. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for your time and up, up the town. The up, up, up the, the town. town, come on. Whitton Town, 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 Whitton Town. Whitton Town, Whitton Town, Whitton a massive everywhere we go, Whitton a massive everywhere we go. On the show! Oh! Watch a mighty Whitton party on the show! Oh, oh, oh. Everywhere we go! Watch a mighty Whitton! Good say, Harry! Poor Davis Swifts! Only 
Go on! Go on! Go on! Take him on! Go on! Oh! Wittem Town, get in! Yes! 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 Yes, Paul! Yes! Yes! Come on! Yes, yes, Callum! Yes! Get in now! There's only one Gary Kimball! One Gary Kimball! There's only one Gary Kimball! One Gary Kimball! There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one. Wait, Samari, wait, Samari. Hey, hey. 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 Good football. Great football. Take him on. Great football! Go on! Yes! Call it! Mommy, hey! Hey! Wait some army, wait some army, hey! Oh! Oh, lucky! Clear! Clear! Yes! Where are you? Go on! Go in! Go on, Josh! Oh! 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 Go on to us, come on! Whittam! Oh, love Whittam, clap your hands! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Good ball! Oh! Ball to us! Come on, we turn! Come on, we turn. Yes! 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 Town in a local derby. Get in there. Woo! 2 0 with some town in a local derby. Get in there. Go on. Good job with the keeper off there. Go on. Go on. Come on, town! Oh! Play it back to the keeper, Harry McKee.
Out. Hey! Come on, town. Clear. We're in the perfect position. What a save from Harry! Go on! Oh, go on! He pulled our player there! Come on! Come on, Whitam! Ref! I was. Hey, offside! Hey, it's offside! Oh, it's all kicking off there! Oh, it's all kicking off! Oh, come on, man! Walk away! Walk away! Walk away! Walk away! Walk away! Walk away! Go on! Make it free. Go on! Go on, Iggy! Call out! Come on, you white! Oh! Oh! The half time score Whitton Town 2, Habery Swifts 0. And here we got the fellow Whitton Town supporters, Leon, Paul, and Laura. Hello, mate. Right. Guys, what a first half for Whitton Town. We played some fantastic football, and it was the best football we've seen ever this season so far, and took the goals very well, and like, as a unit, we played really well, and, and hope it'll be more the same again like we did in the first half. We you. Yeah. What I thought of this first half, it was amazing. Um, there were some points in the game where we should have done a little bit better, but I think overall we've done a good um, Matt's coming first half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Leo, we were superb from the players. Like As a whole, we, we played absolutely outstanding in the first half. And like if we do like we did in the first half, and keep it at it in the second half like we did in the first half and hopefully we come with all three points. Yeah, really great first half, isn't it? like you said, James, some of the best football we've seen all season, I think. Mm. Uh, bearing in mind the boys only played on Tuesday night and Haybridge are fifth in the league. I thought this might be a tough uh, evening for us, but the boys have made a mockery of that. They've done really well. Uh, energy's been there, the effort's been there, and the quality's been there as well. I mean, Josh, and that, well, all the front three, Andrew, Josh, and that DC have looked really lively. The midfield's looked uh, tight and compact. Defence has been solid. And the work rate commitment's been there. Really first-class performance from the players. They've done really well. So if we do that in the second half, we should be on for a win. Yeah, we should be superb. Like We were superb in the first half and the players are putting a fantastic shift in. And like I said, this is the best football we've seen ever this season so far. And like um, we're delighted for the boys in the first half. And we got behind the manager, Gary, 1,000% because he deserves all the support because like... We're winning 2-0 and and hope it'll be the same again in the second half like the first half. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope Luke gets his hat-trick, eh? Yeah, he mm -hmm. always did. He always well. did. So, yeah, we've just been outstanding, haven't we? From start Absolutely to finish. outstanding. Yeah, and from start to finish, you can't fault the boys. We said that at the start, didn't we? They got a performance in and they have so far. So, you know, well done to them. They yeah, have played really, really well. We've made the so, side of a fifth yeah. in the league of ordinary, haven't yeah. we? I mean, they we have made them look really poor, haven't yeah. we? <laughs> But, you know, maybe they're still at their bus stop, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> the support was outstanding in the first Brilliant. half. We, we got behind the team and the manager and they loved the support and like got the 2-0 win at half-time and it could be more in the second half. The thing is, they've just got to come out in the second half and play football, not mm. come out and think, well, we're winning 2-0. we just got to keep going yeah. because, you know, we get more goals, great. 
but we've just got to keep going because they did look like they were getting into it in the last probably the last five minutes they were holding midfield a bit mm. so um but you know as long as we come out and continue as we did then three points will be ours won't it next and i'm goal. still on for my free one <laughs> <laughs> next goal's vital isn't it yeah of course yeah. because if, change the match, if, if we get it then yeah. the game's done yeah. if they get it then yeah. it's all squeaky bum time yeah. so uh, certainly is definitely yeah because like it could be squeaky bum time yeah. like you said but but if we keep being at it, like in the first half, like we did in the first half, and and we should be finding all three points. Yeah, a 2-0 don't flatter us at all, I think. We've been a much the better side. If we play like we did in the first half in the second, there's no reason we can't get more goals. Mm. Thank you guys so much for your time, and same again second half, and up the town. Up the town! Up the town! Up the town! Come on! Come on, we're some. Come on, town. We're some. We're Come on, town. Come on, town. Come on, town.
Good run. Roll! Corner! Time score, Wisdom Town 3, Hamish Wisdom! performance we've ever seen since like for a long time. Since the last Habridge match. Last match. <laughs> the last Habridge match, yeah. The last Habridge match away were one one nil and but this is even special. Three nil to us and and we did the double over Habridge. That's amazing isn't it? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm what, a great, what a great game, mate. Absolutely. But they were a different, <laughs> different side right, what we played down there. Yeah. Uh, they were a lot of different sides, uh, mate. And I thought that was pretty, brilliant. They were pretty poor. Yeah. They were uh, very poor. I agree, yeah. What were they, fifth in the chances? league? They were fifth in the How league. Can they and then, um, the league? <laughs> we took our chances, three great goals, and what a great game. And, and we've gone up the table. Yeah, we, yeah, we've gone up. up. Hi ho, hi ho. It's up the league we go. Da 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 I ho I ho I ho I ho I ho is up the league we go Da 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 I ho I ho Oh that was amazing If we could have a performance like that every game we'd be top of the bloody league I agree yeah We'd be top of the league Yeah you know and what you know I don't know what Paul wants to have it. Yeah. What's your boss, Paul? <laughs> I agree, okay. I think they had so many good performances there. All the way across the team, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, goalkeeper, the back four and midfield yeah. was really sharp. The front boys were really yeah. impressive. Yeah, the work rate commitment was all there and the quality yeah. was there as well. Brilliant. It was, it was a great game. And a great that was a performance. great game. Absolutely. Against the team who were doing really well in the league, like the guys said, you know, this is... It's not like a, when we beat Stonemark here, eight year on our bottom, it's like a fifth and we made them look ordinary tonight. So, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, fair we play did. to the management yeah. and the boys. Exactly. Really yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fair play. All for it. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's all about us tonight. It's been a, a great result. What a result for us with all three points. And this is even special. 3 0 victory against our local neighbours. Like, but I know we won 1 0 away at Havers, but that tonight That's was so point. special. Oh, icing on the cake, isn't it? Yeah, it's like icing, icing on, on the, the cake. cake. Well, let's go and do it again against Tiptree in the cup, eh? Yeah, Come definitely, on. yeah. Let's go and do it again. 3-0 or even more against Tiptree. That'd be even greater then, wouldn't it? It'll be even in greater. Come and on. Every game, we've got to be like we did today, with every single exactly. game. And we've got Grace Athletic away to look forward to on Tuesday. Yeah. And 
and we've got a really turn like we did today away at Gray's Athletic on Tuesday night and who knows we might even climb up higher in the league yeah, I think if we play like that with that sort of intensity and that sort of commitment and that sort of quality against, we don't have to worry about any side. Exactly. I agree, yeah. We can beat no anybody. We can anyone, beat yeah. anybody. There's so we many really good can. performances out there. Yeah, we can. should take a lot of credit from that. Yes. Loved our new boy. That was, was brilliant. Was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. What a player. What a goal. What a goal, hey, he what a goal that was, yeah. especially yeah. that third goal. Yeah. It was like absolutely amazing. Yeah. What a goal that was. Yeah. yeah. Really excellent performances all across the team. Yeah, no, we're well happy with that. Oh, we? absolutely thrilled. I'd love to see that smile on your face, James. I love mean, it, it absolutely means, love it. It means a lot to not just me, it's for all Wigan yeah. Town yeah. fans. It yeah. means a lot yeah. to all of us with yeah, a fantastic win. Oh, what an amazing yeah, Friday the night. The was, again, on, a, on another Friday night. Perhaps you'll play every game on a Friday night. Because we seem to have Friday yeah. night, you know, don't we? The, you know, the atmosphere was brilliant. You know, yeah. Exactly, yeah. And the players seem to feed off that as well. They yeah. loved it, didn't they? They, they loved, loved it. Loved it. They yeah. loved it. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. An excellent performance. And we could, <laughs> we could relax as well because it was comfortable winning the end. Yeah. 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 Didn't yeah. flatter us at all. And we was in command as, as a team yeah. and like that's what we love to see. We show a bit more command in, into the team and like it is absolutely amazing from every single player's putting a thousand percent, putting a lot of good shift in and and that's what got us the fantastic victory, and we did the double over Haybridge. Just a little bit yes. up in Mulder. We done the double over Haybridge. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Come on. Yes. That means a lot to all of us. Oh, 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 it was absolutely brilliant. It's the best performance we've seen for, for a long time. It's a great game. Yeah, we, we deserved it as well. Yeah, we did. Like Paul said, from it, like everyone. Every single player. Harry yeah. had an amazing yeah. game as he well, did. didn't he? He did have a good game. So, you know, every single player, you can't you can't fault them, can you? Definitely, no. yeah. That no, was a great game. Thank you guys so much for your time. Cheers. Up the top! Oh. Come on! We serve a massive anywhere we go! We serve a massive anywhere we go! Anywhere we go! Come on! Come on! Get in! <laughs> Woo! I'm now with the Whitton Town players and the goal scorers, Dees and no, Iggy. Dees, Dees. Guys, what was your thoughts on the game against Haber Swifts at, at home? Um, good game. I feel like we controlled the game throughout the 90. Great going forward, great defensively. Keeper pulled off great saves. Yeah, I think it was a great team performance. And what's your thoughts, Siggy? I thought from the get-go, we, we had a point to prove from Tuesday. Uh, and we we pushed on from what we didn't achieve on Tuesday. We got kept a clean sheet, did what we needed to do. The supporters from the Whitton Town fans were absolutely superb throughout the whole 90 minutes, haven't they? Unbelievable. Yeah, couldn't have done it without them. 12th man, literally. Yeah, and we, and we kept it going throughout the whole 90 minutes in the local derby. And... We managed to get over the line with the fantastic win, and we did we did the double over Haber Swifts. Can't complain. Can't complain. <laughs> Good night tonight, man. Thank you both so much for your time, and and we roll on to Tuesday night. Appreciate it. Thank Cheers, you very much. James. Thanks. So here you go. <laughs> what a fantastic result for Whitton Town, and. Our home support was absolutely outstanding throughout the whole 90 minutes. 3-0 win for Whitton Town and we did the double over Haber Swifts. 1-0 win away at Haber Swifts earlier on in September. And this is even special in tonight's match in the 3-0 win against our, no our local neighbours, Haber Swifts. And that was a fantastic result for Whitton Town and... Um, we just couldn't stop celebrating. Uh, even after the final whistle, we, even after the final whistle, we couldn't couldn't stop celebrating. Like it means a lot to all of us Whitton Town fans with a fantastic win, especially in the local derby, and that win's even special. And I couldn't be any prouder. I am so proud for the boys, for the Whitton Town players and the staff. The management staff and especially for our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball as always. And 
And I said it from the start of this season, give Gary more time, be patient. And we picked up a superb victory against our local neighbours, Habe Swifts. And, and we're back on track and we turn the corner. What a win for Whitton Town. And we are all delighted with a superb victory. And I'm so proud for the Whitton Town players. And we kept singing throughout the whole 90 minutes. And there's still a long way to go in the second half of the season. And But if we play like we did tonight against our local neighbours, Haber Swifts, we could even climb higher up in the league table. If we perform like we did tonight against our local neighbours, Haber Swifts, we should be higher up in the league. But we're not going to get too carried away because we've got the second half of the season for the remaining matches like coming soon and but we're not going to get carried away because we've got a long way to go in the second half of the season but if we play that we did tonight against our local neighbours Haber Swiss with a fantastic 3-0 win we could climb higher up in the league table and I have a faith I have full faith in our manager Gary Kimball this season because since he came back in his second full term last June, when we appointed Gary Kimball in his second full term last June, I was ecstatic with the appointment. And look where we are now. We're climbing a little higher up in the league table. and But there's still a long way to go in the season. But like I said, we're not going to get carried away because we've got a long way to go in the second half of the season. But... We're going to celebrate tonight's victory against our local neighbours, Haby Swifts. And um, we're going to celebrate tonight with a fantastic 3-0 win. And it puts on all delight. It gives us all delight from our supporters in delight with a fantastic victory. But so I couldn't get my head right because, because I'm so excited with a fantastic victory. And... Um, it means to all of our Whitton Town supporters with a win against our local neighbours. It means to all of us Whitton Town fans. But what a win that was. That was even special in a home match against our local neighbours, Haber Swifts. And, um, and I wish Haber Swifts all the best for the rest of the season. And But this is all about Whitton Town with a fantastic win tonight. 3-0 win. And just like Callum and I said... This has got to be the best performance of the season against our local neighbours, Haber Swifts. And we, as Whitton Town supporters, are delighted. We, we are in full delight with a superb victory. And it means to all of us, it is, it is superb. And I'm so proud. But like I said, we're not going to get carried away because we've got more matches to come. And it'll be cat and fish against other teams because like it'll be a different test but let's celebrate tonight with a superb victory against our local neighbours Haber Swifts and and we are going to celebrate along through the weekend with that superb victory and roll on to the next game hope you all enjoy today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is away to Grays Athletic on Tuesday the 30th of January. Get in there! Woo! Up the town! Come on! Yes!